Good afternoon, everyone. It's good to see you. Um, today, I wanted to talk to you about Our Lady of Victory, or Our Lady of the Rosary, um, both interchangeable titles. Today is the feast of our, or the memorial of the feast, or of Our Lady of the Rosary. Um, I think originally it was called Our Lady of Victory. Um, I, there was a statue at at seminary. In seminary, up in Minnesota, we would do a, a rosary procession. I honestly don't remember how often we would do it. We did it if it was every week or if it was... It's been a, such a long time since I've been there, but we would have a procession and we would process to the statue of Mary that was on campus. And then we'd pray a rosary. I think we'd pray a rosary, I remember, pray a rosary on the way there and then finish the rosary there. But it was Our Lady of Victory, and it was it was a very cool picture of our statue of Mary because it was Mary standing and she had a sword. She was, I don't know if she was holding the sword or just like the sword was in front of her. She might have had her hands pulled like this in the sword, but then there there was a rosary wrapped around the sword in the periphery of the sword. It was just a very cool image um, of Mary, and the reason why it was Our Lady of Victory. Um, was because the Battle of Lepanto, and this was back I think in the 1500s, and is when uh, the Moors, the, the Muslims, were conquering, um, you know, Middle East, and they were fighting to conquer Spain, and and um, there was a huge fleet headed toward Europe, and there was the Pope was like calling, rallying all of the Christians in, in Europe to, to come to, to the aid of Venice, because they were going to come in, I think, in Venice or Italy, that area right there. They, that's where they were going to land and then invade Europe. And so, so he's like, so calling upon all Christians, you know, and at the time, this is, you know, around the Reformation as well, you know, where there was some division even within the Christian, the church with Lutherans and Catholics and a lot of strife and struggle there, which is a, a topic for another discussion. But everybody started praying the rosary, started praying the rosary. And, you know, Catholic or non or Lutheran alike, all the Christians were praying, ro praying the rosary, praying the rosary, praying the rosary. And, and um, there's a bunch of things that happened all at once. Uh, the commander of the, 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 the Christian fleet, the Allied, we'll call it the Allied forces, if you will, um, admittedly did not say I'm not I'm not the greatest of commanders I'm not the greatest admiral or, or general um, but right as the the two fleets were about to come together the wind changed in favor of, of the European fleet which allowed them to maneuver around um, the, Mo the Muslim fleet Moors um, which gave them an advantage, and then I believe actually there even was even an image of Mary that appeared in the sky, um, that kind of, again, tied through the extreme, extremely outnumbered European force um, to basically it, it stopped the fleet. It defeat, they defeated them, you know, at the Battle of Lepanto, and uh, which saved Europe at the time. You know, if they had landed in Europe, then you know that invasion would have would have would have flowed into uh, the main body of Europe. My point is, they attribute that victory to, to the intercession of Mary. And and this, so Our Lady of Victory was one of those those titles. And at, at some point they shifted it over and and, and now they, we call it Our Lady of the Rosary. But the Rosary, again, is that there, I, I bring that story up, um, not of course to cause division or anything like that, or you know, I'm just repeating historical facts, you know, right? But the point behind it is the power of the rosary. The rosary calls Mary into our presence. And what do we do when we pray the rosary? What we do is we, yes, we repeat these prayers over and over again, meditating on the words, but but ultimately, what are the mysteries that we're, that we're meditating on? They're the mysteries of Christ. The mysteries, joyful, sorrowful, you know, joyful, luminous, sorrowful, glorious, is the life of Christ. And Mary's view almost, 
Mary's view from the Annunciation to the Coronation, you know, of Mary seeing her son go through all that he went through and pondering, what do we see Mary doing constantly in Scripture? She took these things and she pondered them in her heart. She pondered them in her heart. And so when we pray the rosary, we are pondering the goodness of the Lord, the mysteries of Christ with Mary as we say our Hail Marys and Hail Marys and our fathers and glory beads. It's a meditative prayer. You know, Pope Francis talked about um, it is a simple con contemplative prayer accessible to all the great and the small, the educated and those with little education. Is I mean, it is how we learn the Bible, right? The stories of the Bible. In the same way that when you go into old cathedrals, you see stories of Scripture in the stained glass windows. Why? Because not every Christian in those times, whatever times that that church or churches were built, knew how to read. And so they would look at the windows and see the depictions of Scripture and, and, the, and the traditions of the faith in the windows. And so this is, one again, one of those, those beautiful ways um, in which we meditate on the mysteries of our faith. And, and, and it is a powerful weapon. It's, and that's exactly what it is. It's a weapon. A weapon. Not a physical weapon, obviously, but a spiritual weapon to fight against the evil. To fight against evil. Because Mary has been granted greater power than Satan. Right? She's the pinnacle of creation. You know, um, not by nature, but by grace. Because by nature, she's the same as us. But she has been by a particular grace and given to her by Almighty God out of His pure gift and merited by Christ on the cross, she has been elevated to the, to the highest and per perfect creation, highest level of creation. So, um, we, we lean into that. And again, also, yes, we're praying Hail Mary, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, but who are we meditating on? Jesus. We see the nature of of G Mary's role is to take us to Jesus, to move us to Jesus, to help us see the goodness of her son, Jesus, in our lives. And that's why this should be a devotion that we all participate in or renew, you know, um, to the best of our ability, you know, and I would say, if you can't pray a whole rosary, pray part of a rosary. Pray a decade of the rosary, right? It's something that I've been starting to do in my penances, when, in, con in confession, you know? Pray a decade of the rosary. You know, a decade of the rosary is not, doesn't take that long. A rosary, really, you can get that done depending on how fast or slow you pray it. You know, if you can pray it well, in under 30 minutes. You know? So... Um, just an encouragement to ask Our Lady, especially Our Lady of the Rosary, Our Lady Queen of the Rosary, uh, to intercede for us and to intercede for you, for your, and to entrust her, your intentions to her, recognizing that everything she does brings us closer to Jesus. And He is ultimately, actually He is our goal, to be one with Jesus so that He, in turn, can bring us to God the Father, who is our ultimate. So with that, although this would be the perfect day to switch over and say, hey, we're going to pray a rosary instead of the chaplet, we are going to, going to be, especially at being the hour of mercy, still going to, to pray our chaplet today. But uh, just that encouragement um, to renew or continue um, that devotion to the rosary in your daily life, in your daily prayer. So in the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. We offer this, this chaplet up, asking for a greater um, greater and deeper love for our Lord, greater trust in His providence and His power, to have surrender our, our will and our desires, our intentions to Him, trusting that He will take care of us, for healing in our church, healing in our families, healing in our nation, that we will not allow the the things of this world to divide us, um, but but we'll be able to hold fast to the truth that you have given us 
um, and hold fast through you to one another. Um, that we may be open to greater devotion to the Eucharist in each of our daily lives. Again, um, and that, that your grace may pour freely and fully into each of our lives, each of our hearts. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and into yourself upon us. O blood and water which gush forth in the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth in the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth in the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, and be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The most sacred our Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Mary conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. St. Andrew, St. Francis Xavier, and all our patron saints, pray for us. Father Cape and all the angels and saints in heaven, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for our reflection on Mary and the Rosary and for our praying to the chaplain. So, know that I love you, I'm praying for you, and keep praying for me, for, pray for one another, the church, the world, um, for our healing and, and strength. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless.